Hey everyone. Hey. How you uh how are you guys doing? Yeah. Alright. Trying to get together for this live. Mm -hmm. Um, hey everybody, my name is Dion if you are new here. Please subscribe to my channel and to my returning chat partners. I appreciate you guys support. So guys, I wanted to go live really quickly. Um, I have a special guest with me. This is my daughter. And I just wanted to go live just to share with you guys a movie we saw earlier today. And like I said before, in some of my other videos, I will be going live more talking about um, just different movies and everything that I've watched or that I am watching. Um, like Tubi movies and everything. And this is going to be a Tubi movie review. So give me one moment because I got to self-support for one second. <laughs> Have to always self-support. Okay. Okay, I'm back, guys. So, I just wanted to um, tell you guys about this movie we watched on Tubi earlier today, and then we're going to give you guys some more movie recommendations. I know it's late at night. It's probably about close to 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, depending, depending on where you are in the world. But, you know, some people like to be up late at night watching movies. And so, this particular movie, we just so happened to stumble upon it this morning. Um, I had it on Tubi, and it was just like a recommendation it was just there so i was like let's just watch it and i'm gonna get right to it the name of the movie is called low lifes l-o-w-l-i-f-e-s hey mom how you doing thank you for joining oh, that's how it looks yeah <laughs> <laughs> thank you for joining so the name of the movie is called low lifes like i said l-o-w-l-i-f-e-s comment below let me know if you've seen that movie so far if not, guys, watch it. I don't want to spoil it too much, but I just got to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it to the point where hopefully you guys might want to watch it, still watch it. Because you know how sometimes somebody can tell you about a movie. And you feel like, I want to see it for myself for this particular movie. I just got to talk about it because it was several parts and several points in the movie that me and my daughter, we were like, what's going on? So I would say... I can't think of the character's name right now because I don't even know was we paying attention to the people's names. I swear the one who's on the drink, Kate or Amy or something like that. Sydney, I don't know. Yeah. I don't remember. But basically, it's the, they're gonna call them mom, dad, dad son, and daughter. daughter. Yeah, youngest. Yeah, son and daughter. So basically, like the first, I would say, fifteen minutes of the movie. You know, we was kind of like. Wait a minute. Okay, so basically, it's this mom and dad, son and daughter. And the son looks like he might be like, I don't know, 15. He and said the, he was 16. He was 16. Mm -hmm. And the daughter, she probably was like, what, 17, 18. And they look like a pretty nice, um, decent-looking family. The mom, she was a pretty lady. She was dressed very well. The husband, he was a nice-looking man. He had glasses. He was dressed very well. The son was dressed very well, very neat. And the daughter, she was she was dressed nice, but she was one of those that kind of had the little, what was it? She just looked like she was a college student. A college student type. Sure. Had like a college and yeah. university, right? So you know how that goes. So basically they had, I think they, I think you call them a Winnebago. It's those little motor homes where you can go camping and, you know, it's like a little house on the inside. So they had one of those and they was like in this country rural area or whatever. And they was, um, had the little, um... Winnebago and the dad had like made some food that had the little picnic table with the little watermelon and the little steak just the stuff that he cooked and they was just out there talking and him and the daughter was going back and forth now what they was going back and forth about I really don't know because at that part I really wasn't paying attention to it like that because I was just I had just started eating breakfast so it was one of the things I was like okay so they was going back and forth and I was like oh here we go the typical type movie the daughter she got a smart mouth talking back being very disrespectful being very disrespectful to her parents so she decides she's gonna walk off somewhere and right then I told Miracle I said see how people do she walking off and she's supposed to be over there with her parents and they out in the middle of nowhere okay so next thing you know while they eating and talking 
and just conversing as a family, this pickup truck pulls up. And when the pickup truck pulls up, these two guys come out. And I'm not trying to be funny, y'all, but they look like those people that be in those like kind of hillbilly type movie, hills have eyes, wrong turn type movie. They be look, they kind of look like them a little bit. You like, uh, they look a little strange, you know. Mm -hmm. And like I said, the little family, they like a little conservative family. Look like the dad, it might be business type people, whatever. And so the guys come, and did they come then with the dad? No. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. I think they walked up to him at first. I don't know. I wasn't really no, they had to, no. They came up to him. They had a, had a truck. They came out to pick up truck, and they had like a like a. Can you say? They had a weapon, a, a hunting weapon. I'm gonna just say that because I don't know if you can say the G word on YouTube or not. And so they was like talking with the family, and they was acting all weird and everything, and just saying little stuff. And the family, they was kind of like, uh, you know, they was talking to him, but they, you can tell they really didn't want to talk to him. So as they was talking and everything, the guys was like, because they was looking for a family member. I can't think of his name. It was somebody named that began with an M. I do not know. Like Mayors, Mars. Ma Mars or somebody. May yeah, Birch or something like that. They was looking for him. They was like, have you seen him? And they was like, no, we haven't seen such and such and such. And they was like, well, do you mind if we take a look on your camper? And they was like, no, you know, you can't just go look on our camper. So by this time, as they was going back and forth, the daughter, she had came back. So when she came back, they was really looking at her. They was like, oh, she look nice and this and this and that. And just the conversation that they was having with the family, it made the family uncomfortable. And it made me uncomfortable because I'm sitting up here like. Yeah, the comments they said um, took too long. Yeah, and it was one of those things where you like. Can y'all just leave or can we just get in our car and, and let's just go? And so the son, he had some candy bars and he went up to the two guys because he was like really nice. He went up to the two guys. He was like, do you want some candy? And they was like, no. And so the man pulled out a Ziploc bag. <laughs> you see grandma said that. She said it was scary. No, it wasn't. It, it wasn't. It, it, it's, it's one of those movies. Now, it says language and um, it just said language it's and violence. violence, but it wasn't like a violent it time. definitely wasn't scary. It's more of a thriller type. Yeah, and way. more. it has like some gore with it. Yeah. I would say that much. And so he was like, no, and he pulled out his little Ziploc bag and it was some bugs. What was it? Like grasshoppers? Uh, grasshoppers. Grasshoppers. Yeah. And he was eating them and they was looking at him like, ugh, or whatever. Anyway, they still took the candy bars from the sun. So they ended up getting in their truck and they left. Thankfully, they left. Okay, so the parents and, you know, the little family was talking. And I was telling real quick at that time, I was like, listen, they need to just leave. I, me, personally, I would have left. For one, I wouldn't have went out there, and you know, on the road. Yeah, if, they, if you're, like, out in the middle of nowhere and those people are coming around being strange, I just would go home. Yeah, they looked at real strange. Mm -hmm. They looked at dirty. They just looked at, like, not some, like... I wouldn't have even wanted to have anything to do with them at all. Mm -hmm. I probably might have would have left my family. If I'm telling y'all ready to go when you're still talking, I probably would have just went walking somewhere else. Something. I guess we would have did something. Okay, so the family, they ate their little food or whatever. So they decided to leave. So as they leaving. Leave to go to town. They weren't like leaving to go home. Yeah, they was leaving to go to town. And so that, and see, and one of the things that the daughter, her and her dad was some fussing about was because the Winnebago that the little camper was old and it, but he was telling her it's you know it used to be a grandfather so that's why this is a tradition that we do all the time and the mom was like but maybe she's right and no you know it's this family time okay so as they drive and who they come up on the two guys in the pickup truck with the gun so the way they the way they was trying to get off the road where they was at in the woods the truck was kind of turned well, they couldn't. So, of they course, could have could, uh, I mean, they, they did get around. The movie's not scary. Oh, my God. I know. It reminds me of just, like, those typical movies that, like, how it starts off how a normal horror movie would start off, but then it, it switches. But it's not scary. Yeah, it's, it's not scary, but the movie had a twist, like, I would say the first, what, 15, 20 minutes into it. Because you would have thought one thing, but it was actually something else. So basically, they rocked. So are you going to tell them that? Nah, 
I mean, they can still watch it. I'm just doing a review. Yeah, then I'm it's, just, uh, I'm it's just, not spoiler free then. You can, it's it's spoiler. It's spoiler movie review. What could be spoiler? Because I don't know if they watched it or not. Yeah, but if you tell the plot twist <laughs> that's spoiling it, and <laughs> I'm gonna just say this. I'm gonna just say this. It's one of those movies where, okay, like I said, they pulled up to the road. So when they pull up to the road, the two guys trying to be saying the truck was messed up. And the truck was actually messed up. That was the truth. I thought they was not telling the truth, but they were telling the truth about the truck being yeah, messed up. Yeah, it's it's like how the movie is set up. You think that the, the two guys that came there are like killers or whatever. How like every I horror movie. I don't even They are people that like to unalive oh. people. You would think that. That, that sounds worse than killers. <laughs> I, mean, I'm just I don't know, but it was just crazy. Put it like that. And so the the guy he gonna roll the window down. The wife she just telling him let's go. Wait, but I was saying. Go ahead, I'm sorry. I was saying that the movie makes you think that those two guys are unalivers, quote unquote. Right. But it's something different. It's something but different. it's like anybody would think that that's strange. To like when you meet two weird people. And then when you drive on the road and see them again, and of course they car broken down and stuff. And they like, got a gun, and we yeah. ain't got nowhere. Yeah, anybody would be suspicious of that. Yeah. So. And then it's one of them things, so as the guy come up to the truck, the wife like, let's just go. And he like, yeah, the car broke down, this and this and this, can we get a ride? And the wife was like, what? She trying to tell the husband, no, let's not do this, this and this and that. But he, of course, don't want to listen. So it's one of them things, and it's like, it, it, and as you're watching the movie, because as, as they're in the truck, when they're riding up the road to that point where they meet those people, the son is like, give me a, give me a, a word, give me a, like he was smart, give me like a verb that goes with the word red. And so they were saying, so he's like, no, not that word. He's like, give me an adverb. So he was like doing you his little the word. part where they, where they negotiated that one of the guys go, or are you not telling that? Well... I mean, well, I just told it. Yeah, because I was trying. I was trying to say. <laughs> but you got the it. But it sounds like you're saying that that's what he told his family. But that's we're just going to spoil it. One. So the guy was like, "How about it was two guys? One that looked scary, and one that looked uneducated." There you go. He they said both look scary. scary. If you see the red top is out of Ziploc bag, <laughs> some ain't right with you. Right, but he. <laughs> The less scary looking one, he was like, look, let Billy, wasn't that his name? I think his name was but Billy. But he was like, let Billy go on the RV, that's what it was. Let Billy and he go said, on the RV. And he said, I stay here with the, with with the, the, gun. With the weapon. Yeah. So then, they him and the, one on with the, the wife and the, the husband, the mom and dad are going back and forth. And they were like, okay, well, get, he can get, go on. And then that's when the son was had his little notebook and was like figuring out. Like little nouns and, and stuff and things like that. with with the guy, right? And the guy was like, "Well, such and such is my turn." He's like, "This book ain't right." And from then on, that's when it really got good. And it was from that point on. Put it like this: when they got on that little camper, we was both like, <gasps> like we couldn't believe it because we thought it was something totally different, something totally different. And then. Some other parts happened. <laughs> it's miracle. I looked at her one part. Remember the man? What he did? How are you going to tell the first 20 minutes then skip to the end? <laughs> She's been yeah, saying yeah. a whole hour of the movie. She didn't Y'all just got to watch it because I want people to like, I want people to watch it. I want well, people we can we spoil the first part. Well, we really can spoil the first part. Oh, like small people. Hey, y'all can speak. We see y'all. Hey, how y'all doing? Comment. Right, yeah. And about... then they going to leave. I saw you. <laughs> 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 Once I called him out. We talking about the movie Low Lifes. L-O-W-L-I-F-E-S. And it's on Tubi. And if you don't comment. And then. it's like a thriller horror. It's okay. <laughs> it's like a thriller horror. I'm going to still post this. Now. No. It's, I'm... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this movie was good, guys. I would give this movie. What would you give this movie? Some parts it was just like on and on. Some parts it was kind of dumb, but out of five stars. Yeah, out of five stars, what would you give the movie? Or the three. It's what they were having the stars we want to say. It's at, seven stars. It can be seven stars. It out can of be three, three. There is no seven stars. Out of seven stars, I would give this movie a six. I wouldn't give it that many. Oh, 
out of three, I would give it like two. You know how That's they the have, you know the how they have two stuff, they start <laughs> and two be filled in, and the third one it's like a tiny little mark. <laughs> I feel like the acting was good for the most part. Part because for one, it was some people that I haven't seen before. I don't think I've ever, maybe I've seen the dad in a movie before, but I'm gonna tell you, the son played his part good. Yeah, the I son played his part because like, Miracle, he was great. Yes, yeah, he could act though, he can because Miracle was like this. I was like, the son's no, Miracle, it was one part. This Miracle was like, the son is so nice because he's just so neat, and clean looking, and just really he friendly. He's very friendly and smiling. But that's and how he manipulates and, and, and I told her, I said, just because he acting like that don't that don't mean he like Yeah, that. y'all can Yeah, that's, like, that's why that's this love. movie is a mur- is a mur- 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 let's say a learning lesson because the people that are overly nice not you sign up with them. That's that's something too you gotta so you can't trust people. It's just easily. I feel like for me, and it's one of the movies where the family they end up going to these people's house or whatever, and they just so friendly letting them in. Cause for one, I, that's just unrealistic to me. I just feel like it just taught me a lesson that when you out of town, don't just be going off somewhere and just doing whatever you think you're gonna do. Because at the end of the day, the thing that got me was these people was one way, but they messed with the wrong people as well. So just because you mean and stuff, you might meet your match one day. And that's kind of what this movie yeah. was. But it's one of the things, too. I'm going to mind my own business. Y'all back here having a little family picnic back what here. What I noticed is, too, is how, like, they have the families, like, with their glasses, like, the steel pillars. With... Oh, that's okay. I mean, it's well, one one one, oh, it we didn't Well, one of the kids, well, one of the kids, oh, can you speak? No, just say, yeah, say something like that. Just say the synonym, of, synonym of Jeffrey Dahmer. Uh, yeah, Je- they had. Yeah. That's how his glasses looked a little bit, like them, like those those murderers. We can say murderers. People must get murderers' glasses. Those those big glasses that they always. Well, wear. I got big glasses on, and I'm not one. They are wide though. They are wide. They are they bifocal. Y'all know but those 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 Jeffrey Dahmer glasses. Let me tell you something. I'm I'm gonna just tell the movie. Y'all, that movie was good. And it was it's one it was one girl in the movie. She was like, I don't mm-mm. when they were sitting at the table eating, she was like, I don't trust them. I and did not like how this one girl, how everybody else was getting sliced and diced, and she didn't have one mark, one scratch. I don't like that, but then she. I like the uh, the reason why I give the movie a six out of seven. Or what she said three, so she said a two and a half. I thought the movie had good acting. Like I said, I never seen the characters before, and it had a twist like in the beginning, and also just it was just fun. It had some funny parts to it because some of you be like, "What in the world is really going on?" Right. These people. The, the, the dad was the craziest. Yeah, out of the all. Daddy he really was. was he was crazy. He was really he crazy. Was, the daddy was something. It was. It had a funny part. We yeah. was like, "What is that? Is this man?" <laughs> if you we if, can't we play it in your head, man, it's, 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 funny. it's funny. If you watch the <laughs> if you watch the movie, you will understand. Let me just put it like this. I'm gonna just put it out here to spoil. It. It's about cannibalism, and that's all I'm gonna say. It's about Can cannibalism. Can you say that word? I guess. I don't know. <laughs> the unalive is eight people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me tell you so. And it was what it was. Something happened to the dad and something he did. We was like, this. And that part was funny. So, guys. It's it, not funny that they're unalive, but it's just funny that something had happened to him and then what he did afterwards. It catches you off guard. Right. And this is one character in the movie. His name Big Mac. And Big Mac is this big, big man. And he's the one of the sisters boyfriend it. and it's not yeah, funny yeah, but yeah. when you watch the movie when the son see him he looking at him like oh yeah that one there All right. that one mine it was that just kind of funny was just, like, that son was really brave he really was brave he did not care he didn't he care was ruthless. He, <laughs> he was like his really daddy he was like well, it was daddy. funny how the dad how the son was like the dad and the daughter was like the mother in a way the mama kind of yeah. like hesitant on on, on a lot of people yeah yeah so that was a movie we watched today, and it's called L O W L I F E S. It's called Low Life. And then we watched this movie the other day called The Breed. I kind of told them about this a little bit the other night when I was online. What was that, about? that was the one with the dogs. When they went on their trip. 
It was too cute how the dogs were running. Like, yeah. yeah and it was like real dogs. Yeah. I mean, not, Aww. They didn't look vicious. They kind of looked like, what was those lab? Not Labradors. They was like, not golden retrievers. What was they, German Hutch? Shepherd. German Shepherd. Type dog. I done said all kind of names. And it was so funny how one part they saw, they showed the part where the little dog was trying to get to the people and the dog was big and in the dirt. You know how dogs going to be dogs and doing stuff. And then when they were doing the little... Was, doing the little doggy paddle on the water. Yeah, they was <laughs> trying to catch right. the people. Um, yeah, that movie was crazy. But these people had went to this little um, area that the, this, these two guys' family owned. And come to find out, they had like this lab or whatever that they was like doing stuff to dogs, like breeding them and making them like mean and everything. And so they were stranded on this place and they were trying to get away from the dogs. And that's called the breed. That movie was pretty good. So this, basically this live is just about movies that we've seen and you can watch them on too when they kind of like yeah, horror and thriller I movies. talk crap about too but <laughs> cause some uh, they do have some good movies on there but some cheesy movies like they just go like I said I'd rather see bad acting and a good storyline I don't like when a movie is a good storyline or when it just ends weird it's like this how it's gonna end like what's the the movie could be two hours and thirty something minutes long and it ends and it's like what happened like what's the rest of it that's why I think some movies should have, like, follow-ups and everything. Um, we did just see that they had on there, what was it? Is it a bell co- what is it called? The bell experiment? What the is it? bell co- or one of them. That movie was kind of sad. I think um, it's called the bell co- experiment bell or something co- like that. That movie is really, really good. And it has the guy in there, if you guys watch the show Scandal, the guy that played the president, he's in that movie. But I remember him. I, you know, I like Scandal. It was pretty good. They was getting on my nerves a little bit about the lady. So I kept only, finding her. I've only seen. But what I I've like, only seen a couple episodes of Scandal, but it just looked like it was some type of love story. It just how to get away with murder. Oh, uh, un- how to get away with <laughs> un- breaking the law. That's what they were talking about. <laughs> How do you get away with a lot of records? <laughs> but look, do you remember we would watch Ghost? You remember we watched the movie Ghost? That's the movie with Kathy Swayze. I cried. Yeah, she cried. But that I remember was his friend that was in the movie that hurt him. That's the man that's in the Bell Belmont or Bell Crow experiment, and he's in the movie show Scandal. That show, that movie, that what what is it called? Look it up. Google it right quick. Cause Who? You, Google the Bell Pro experiment. I think it's Bell Co. So we can tell them the name of them. Guys, check that movie out. We haven't seen that. We I actually rented that movie, but we did just see it on Tubi. So if you guys want to watch that, check that out. That's a good movie. The Bell Co. Experiment. It's called The Bell Co. Experiment. And I'm going to just tell a little bit about this movie. Basically, this movie is these people that work in this big corporation building. It's a huge building. And they are, you know, just going about their day. And um, something happens where, I only seen it one time, no, I saw it twice, but it was like a long time ago. So basically what happens is one guy, he's sitting at his desk and he so just so happened to look out the window and you can see like these men walking outside into this other building. And uh, everybody that morning when they came to work, they it was like these people stopped them and they had this sign. Something happened where they stopped them and they was asking them questions before they let them go into work. So as the people just... Yeah, that was like the beginning of it. It kind of started off a little slow, but then after that, it just picks on up. And then it was one of those things where everybody was up in there working, and they basically told them that they had to, like, hurt each other. It only can be one person alive in order for them to get out of the building. It was crazy. Yeah, and then, like... It was crazy. Near near the end, there was a part where, like, the guy had almost pressed... Because somebody was pressing a button to hurt certain people, right? Yeah. And the guy had almost pressed his by accident. Yeah, because what happened was when they first got their job, they had to get this thing put... What, what was it? They yeah, had a chip, or uh, chip or something put in there, but they told them it was for something else. And so, basically, what happens is when they had to do that experiment, if you don't do it, then they can press a button in the chip and it'll destroy you. You know what I'm saying? You'll just be gone. <laughs> the story and them people <laughs> was up in there. It was sad because it's like people Aww. had to fight against each other. And you know it's always going to be one who want to be the ruler of everything. They was on camera too, though. So it's so yeah. they were watching they them can, the whole they, can, time. they was watching them. They could see everything. You, yeah. So it was friends turning against each other. They ain't had no choice. 
You know what I'm saying? And it was just sad because it's always one person. It's You know what? Movies like that, you know how it's always going to be like four or five people that want to get together and think they the tough ones. But y'all going to y'all gonna have to go against each other, other anyway. Yeah, and then, but that uh, reminds me of like, what thing is called The Countdown. No, it's called The Countdown. That's a horror movie. But it's called The Circle on Netflix. Remember that? It was like the people that got captured by aliens. Well, you probably spoiled it, but... <laughs> Just <laughs> you can talk about it. Cast, I know, but it's like I spoiled the ending where it's like it was aliens. But what had happened was people had got captured and like they're all in a like a, a room or something, and they stand on this thing on these bread things like a circle, and then oh, it's okay, like they okay, have okay. to sacrifice each mm-hmm. other. Or if you get picked, you have to mm-hmm. sacrifice mm-hmm. somebody else, mm-hmm. right? That was oh, crazy. Okay. That but that kind of reminds me of that. That's why yeah. I brought it up. The Bell Quote, that, that movie was good. It was one movie that we saw. I cannot think of the name of it, but it has the guy in there that played. Was it the guy that played the original Candy Man? I don't know. But anyway, basically, it's about these people who are trying to get this particular job, right? And so the job, you make lots and lots of money. So I cannot think of the name of it right now. Um, I know y'all like this girl up here doing movie reviews. They ain't even got the name of the movie, but what? It's um, okay. What? But what job where they win a lot of money? They went out. They went like it was just this this job that they wanted to get. So they had already went through like a bunch of interviews, and they can only select one person. So basically, it's like this big big deal. Put it like that. So basically, they had one interview left. So they was all in a room, sitting in desks. And they had this timer on the wall. And it was a guy that was in there. He was like the security guard. He was in there. And basically, they had one sheet of paper. And what they had to do was they had to not... You could... I don't think you could write on the paper or something like that. It was like this clue. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I can't think of the name of it. It was something like a clue or something that they had to do. And um, the man, he was like, I stand before you. And um, I'm going to ask you this question. Um, here's the, you know, are there any questions? So did nobody say anything? So you can't write on the paper. You can't. It was certain things that you could not do to until the time ran out that was on the wall. You couldn't talk to security guard. You couldn't. And these people went crazy in this in this room. They was burning the paper trying to find clues, wetting it. So much stuff was happening. And it was and something simple. Some, yes, so much stuff was happening in this room. And basically, if the job did go to one person, because I think it was maybe it had got down to two people, because they was up in there hurting each other, doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And then at the end, the girl, this girl, she ended up winning. And it was one of the things where something about she, what did she stepped on the thing or something? She, but she didn't leave out or something like that. And come to find out, the man that owned the company, he was actually in the room with them, but he was dressed in disguise. And what happened was while they was up there trying to put the paper all up to the light and doing all this stuff. He had went and changed the time, so the time had been ran out. And basically, what the interview was, was that all they had to do was just sit there. And the interview was, are there any questions? And that was, that was just it. Was there any questions that you had about anything? And the people, y'all gotta watch it. That movie was good. And it was, I saw that movie. Oh, on. Are there any, that I saw that movie. Would you rather... Where are those people? Oh, that's them? a good movie. Have that you guys seen Would You Rather? I really like that just because that shows that, like, it shows what it's crazy what people will do to for their family members and mm-hmm. stuff. But it's like you're sacrificing one life for another type thing. Yeah, and the movie with Would You Rather, too, it's amazing, too, how you can run, in people, run into people and you can talk to people and tell them certain stuff about you and they can use that against you as, as a weakness. Because, you know, like the man who didn't eat meat, and he was like, oh, if you eat this piece of, if you eat a small piece of steak, I'll pay you like $20,000. You know, one person had had a drink in some years, it was like so many years, if you take this sip of drink, i give you so much money. You know, things of that nature. That, that's the type of stuff that was happening with that movie. And then it was one of them things where it was like... They were trying to, the one thing was that they had... Because it was only going to be one winner. They had submerged one person in water and they didn't make it. But one, but the girl or whoever, somebody did. But that's because they took swimming, swimming class or something, or something like, like that. Like that. But yeah. Mm-hmm. 
but then at the end, they both could have walked away, but the girl decided yeah. to, to, mm -hmm. to unalive the dude because she needed money because her brother was sick. Brother, he had cancer, but they kissed at the end. That's what she did, though, because it's like, I guess because she made it, she made it this far. It's like, I have been through all this about drowned. Did this, you yeah, know? People had to do stuff to themselves. Yeah, like, yeah. Them. yeah. But the thing that got me about that movie, when they first got to the house and they always having dinner, and when the person was like making all these propositions, like, you do this, would you do this, and this and that. At that time, when they did that stuff, the, the man was like, okay, guys, whoever wants to leave can go now. You can leave now and take the money I just gave you. Or you can stay here and do this. This last. I felt like he was gonna unalive them anyway. I would have left. I wouldn't have been the first time. Them. Yeah. When you coming to me and, and trying to tempt me with stuff that you, if I already, if I'm a person, if I don't eat meat, or if I'm a person that I've been sober for years, and you was like, well, you know I'm in debt because all these people was in debt and they wanted money yeah, for they something. Money. Um. Oh, I give you fifty thousand dollars. You don't mean me no good. You don't mean me no good because yeah, you know when rich, if I'm when rich, doing something. That's why, like, when rich people want poor people, well, not poor, but the less fortunate people to, like, do games, like that, like that, is, like the escape room movie on mm -hmm. you never do that because, of course, they're going to mm -hmm. hurt you. That's why I don't never go to the, like, if you know how you go to the beach in different places, they got the escape room. I'm not going in there. I wouldn't do no, that. That's I, a movie. Cause I, no, but I just wouldn't go in an escape room in general because I feel like, what if the people go to lunch break? Say like it's miracle working, right? And I go in the escape room, but she get off work at 2 o'clock. And somebody they else come in, in there and they forget so to the tell that somebody in there, I'm not going in no escape room. I just feel like if something happened, how I'm going to get out? I can't do it. I don't care how many of us I think in. that there's probably a way out. Like, I don't, you know, I think there's a way out. Not just the that the employees can let you out. I doubt that. Okay, what was the movie that we watched that was like um mm -hmm. when we went to the haunted the haunted forest? Remember that movie we watched with the black people? Yeah, and they all in the woods. It was like a haunted forest, and they all in the woods, and this person was out there doing the stuff haunted and maze. Now. And it's like, but some of, but it's like they were just. The other people are just being dumb because like you can tell when, when there's something really wrong. With I somebody. just don't understand why when stuff like that go on, why people don't just leave. I can't, I can't. It just be too much going on. And the person he was doing something, people was like, "Oh my god, this is so cool." No, it's not. This real girl. This is real. What's another movie that we saw? But then that makes you think like. Well, no. I think people like, got to watch what 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 type of movies they put out there and make because it's like when somebody came up with this script. It might be people. Where you get where you get that thought from? Where did you get that idea? That's from? That's pretty. That, I mean, like that's just kind of something that you don't think about that that could happen while you at this the like scary maze or house or whatever. So they could do that and make it look mm -hmm. like it's a part of the. Mm -hmm. Guys, let me tell y'all this about this movie I saw when I was a child. And I think this this movie came out. Um, let me see what song. Mm -hmm. This movie came out in 83. What is it called? Sleepaway Camp. There's two movies that I watched when I was a child that changed my thought process, okay? This movie came out in 1983. I was six years old. And this movie is called Sleepaway Camp, okay? <laughs> and I got to tell you about this movie. I'm going to tell you about it. The part at the end was like actually scary. Like, yeah. like the face at the end, that was So basically... Scary. This movie, when it first starts off, it's these two men, they are lovers, okay? And they are at the lake. It was two men. Yes, yeah, two men. The daddy, yes, it's two men, they are lovers. And <laughs> it was a little girl and a little boy in the lake, and they was, you know, swimming, playing, or whatever. And there's some people doing the, um, what you call it when you being pulled by a boat and you're on the float thing. And they pulling you standing up, whatever they, whatever the skiing, jet, not jet skiing, but <laughs> the boat pulling you and you standing up. That That's, little thing. Yeah, that. <laughs> so the little kids was playing. I think they little boat or something, something flipped over. And the girl, you know how people get the, when um, 
when people get to drinking and talking and they flirting and doing all this on the boat, the girl was telling them to watch the thing. She was screaming at them to pay attention. They wasn't paying attention. So he wasn't paying attention driving the boat. And she was like, stop. The, you know, she was telling them. And they was like, what is that saying? And so anyway, he hits the thing that the, 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 the two men and the kids on. And you see a little child swim away. You see a little child swim away. So it was like some years later, right? And it's this boy and this girl. His name, her name is Angela. I don't know what the, the, um, the son name is. I can't even remember because this movie was so long ago. And the boy, his mom, she was getting ready to send him to camp. And she had this little piece of um, thread tied around her finger. And she was like, I, I sent you to go get your um, your physical. But, hmm, did I do that? She was like real dingy with it. <laughs> you know, just the way the mama acted. She was real dingy. Well, we can't do that. And I can't. Well, hmm, this and this and that. So anyway, they go to camp. So when they in camp, the little girl cousin, her name is Angela, she real quiet. She don't talk to nobody but her cousin, the boy cousin. She's like real quiet. And so the kids, they out there playing, just doing all different types of stuff at the camp. And as they doing stuff at the camp, people start picking at her. And every time somebody pick at that girl, her boy cousin go at him. He be trying to fight him. He be doing all kinds of stuff. Because he like, you know, y'all keep picking at her and messing with her. And so he had a friend that went to the camp the year before. And the friend liked the girl, Angela. And she would kind of talk to him. He was the only other person that she would talk to beside her cousin. Does that, does that make... So anyway, <laughs> you know what I was saying? stop. Let me I finish telling it first. Who's going to make him? I don't know. But you know what I'm thinking six, about? I was six years old when I watched this movie. So <laughs> they sitting up there and all this stuff was happening. And the look, and it was this one girl. She had this long, thick black hat. She was like this short, petite girl. And she was like real hateful and mean just the way she used to act. She was real mean. And so the girl, Angela, she would be sitting on the bed like this. She had a lot of stuff with rock. Well, she, she, was, she was just staring at them. Like when the girls get dressed and stuff, she would just stare at them and she would be, they like, what's wrong with you? They just kept picking at her. <laughs> so all kinds of stuff was yeah. happening to people. Like, gory. y'all got to watch it. Like, just everybody that picked on her, something happened to one them. One by one. One by one, stuff was happening to them. And it's like, y'all couldn't keep that down. Okay. <laughs> and so the girl. Like I said, the boy, he ended up, she she was liking a little boy, and they was talking and this and this and that. And so, it was this, like, older man that worked at the camp. And like I said, different stuff was happening to different people that was messing with the girl. So, the little old man beat the cousin up real, real bad, so he laid out in the woods. And then, it was like some little campers that had picked at the girl. And when they went out looking for them, they was all tall to pieces and stuff, right? <laughs> destroy it. Destroy it. <laughs> you hear me? Destroy it. Okay. So it was a cap counselor, it was a woman and a man. So they as they started noticing this all this stuff was happening to these people, they started going out looking. And so the girl, Angela, and the boy that liked her, they was like, let's go swimming. So they went swimming and this and this and that. And so as the girl cap counselor and the man came up, you can see somebody sitting down, Indian style, and you can see the boy that she liked his, you know, he was laying in her lap and she was rubbing his head and she was like, mm, like humming. And you could just see the back of them because, and it was at nighttime too, it was dark. And you can see, and you can see the, um, the back of her. He had, they was, he had took her to go to the little beach. Oh yeah, yeah to, to, to go yeah. swimming or whatever. And you can see the back of her or whatever. And she was just humming. And then they did the flashback. So they did the flashback of the little, boy and little girl that was in the water, they was peeking through the door and they saw their daddy in the in the bed with his partner with another man. And so the little girl and the little brother was sitting on the bed and they was pointing to each other. You know, just pointing to each other like this, this and that. And then it flashed back to, you can see a child standing there and the little child had his head down and had a little wrap around, had a little wrap around the head, right? Just standing there. And then it showed that Daniel woman, which was the um, <laughs> mama. And she was like, oh my God, I'm just so happy that you're here to stay with me. I've always wanted a little girl. Oh wow, I'm so happy. I'm just in front because I don't remember really what she, she said. Is, but she, this is some of the stuff that I think. She, she was like, I've always wanted a little girl and I'm going to name you Angela. Angela, yes, Angela, it's going to be your name, Angela. And when she, she said that the little child with the head wrapped around, 
looked up, and when it looked up, it, the person, <laughs> the little girl that was sitting in the asylum, we stood up when she stood up. The the little boy that liked her, his this part rolled on the ground, and when she stood up, <laughs> they was like, "Oh my God!" The two camp <laughs> instead of it's a boy. Or instead of not, not somebody head that rolled, I'm talking somebody boy. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. And the girl, it, you can you can Google it right now if you want to. You watching this? Google sleepaway camp ending. You can Google it right now, and I'm telling you, it's gonna have you. And I was six when I watched it, so can you imagine a six year old saying something like that? Yeah, but the and face it's like the made. way she, cause she was a pretty girl. She was pretty now, but it was like when she stood up and she was like, <sighs> and she yeah. was looking like that, <sighs> like that. And it was dark outside, like I said, and then she was doing like that. The camera was on her face. And the camera was pu pulling back so you can see more of her. And as it was pulling back, and she's standing up there, <sighs> just looking like that, you know what I'm saying? It's a and boy. it was coming back. And as you can see, you start seeing going down, hair on the chest, going on down. And you can see the private area. And they standing there, and he's going, <laughs> uh -huh. and she was just going, uh -huh, like that. Y'all, the private area. Let me tell y'all something. That movie had me messed. Up as a child, do you hear me? <laughs> because it was the simple fact. And the, can you imagine how the camp counselors? Were? I've never seen nothing like that before in my life. I was six, and, and to this day, I'm 46 years old, guys. I've never seen a scary movie ending that messed me up like that. It's just the way the ending was yeah. and the way she was looking, because she was just standing there and she was like looking just ah, and like that, just the yeah. noise she was making in her face and spread. And then when it pulled back and it just standing, you were like, what? the? Let me tell you something. I don't know what they should have showed what happened with their camp counselor man and woman. Like, what did they do? And it was all because of the aunt. Because, like I said, so if you think, if you watch the movie, so in the beginning, when the two little kids was training, it was the brother and the sister that was out there swimming in the water playing. So when that person hit the boat, they, um, the daddy got lost his life and the sister lost her life. And it was the little brother that swam away. And when he swam away, he ended up evidently going to stay with the aunt. And when he went to go stay with the aunt, she made him. And that's why she was quiet. That's why she would sit there and wouldn't talk to nobody. She would only talk to the cousin because she was like real quiet and wouldn't say nothing to nobody. And then, like I said, when them girls and stuff would get dressed, she was in their camp room with them. So she don't, she look, her hair and face and stuff look like them. And she said, you know, the aunt said that she was a girl. However, when she saw them girls taking their clothes off, getting in the shower, getting dressed, she was just sitting there looking like, what, staring. What's the wrong with you? She, that's what was wrong with her. That's because the aunt had her messed up. Guys, the <laughs> the them, it's called yeah, Sleep they, Away they, Camp. <laughs> they were talking about them people early on. Them. And they got some, um, it's like a Sleep Away Camp 2 and 3 and all that, but ain't nothing like number one. I haven't seen the other two. But that ending, if you Google, Google it right now, guys. You Google Sleepaway Camp ending and watch it. You probably can pull it up on YouTube. I don't know if they're going to show the whole thing. But even if you just Google Sleepaway Camp ending, I ain't going to even put them all on YouTube. You put um, type Sleepaway Camp ending and hit images, you will see it. And wait there. You still scared of that? Um, listen, no, that no. thing had me messed up. Just that. And even as I it was, became, it was a fake mouth though, because nobody mouth open that wide. Like that thing was, yeah. Y'all will see. It's if you watch it, watch it. And, and and the thing about it too, guys, that it's like one of them things. Me. It was. It, the thing about it too, it was one of them things where it's like, if you watch it, as an adult, I watch it again. That part still scared me at the end. Like cause that jump was spook. It was like one of them spooky, um, creepy type things. Mm -hmm. So that was made it worse. You know, and then, um, like the people, what they was picking up, what did you make? <laughs> so when the people, well, so when the people was, um, certain stuff was happening to the people, some happened to somebody with a curling iron, some happened to somebody oh with the, um, yeah, the girl, remember the girl with the long hair? She got her with the curling iron. Who was the one she got in the shower? Did that was the older man that was messing with that camp counselor woman. Person. I think that's the one she got in the shower. Got somebody in the war, y'all. And as you watch the movie, like it, like now, I'm telling you guys, now I'm watching it as an adult, it's like it is like this movie was made. It came out in '83, so you know the the clothes they had on, everything just looked different, and it wasn't like all that high tech type stuff that's going with movies now. 
So, but the thing about it, it's like as you watch the movie, and you know what, you would the, put it like this: the whole time that you thinking that everybody that picked on the cousin Angela, you would have thought it was the boy cousin that was doing it because it was one time when one person was laying there, they opened the door and they had the thing. You can see it looked like a male figure. And then yeah. when the, the person was under, in the water and they had went under the thing and got them, and when they said, what, what are you doing here? So everybody that came and counter with, um, with Angela, they picked on her, the cousin tried to fight him or said something to take up for her. However, when they went to get the revenge to the person that picked on her, you always thought it was the boy cousin because how, how it looked. You know, because you would see like the back of the head and stuff. Yeah. So you would have never thought it was Angela, you know. And like I said, guys, the name of that movie is called Sleepaway Camp. There was a movie. There's, yeah, some older movie that Curtis did. Right? Yeah, that movie right there had me messed up. And then it was another movie um, I saw back in the day that had me messed up too. It was called, no, it'll be a fight. It's called Alice Sweet Alice. That's an old movie. And they got Brooke Shields in it. I've never seen it. And it's about these twin girls. And this girl, she used to live in this apartment building. And she used to wear this little mat. Yeah. Them movies like that will mess you up. And The Exorcist, the original Exorcist from way back in the day. I remember one time I um, watched that at my dad's house. I was on the couch downstairs by myself. Everybody else was upstairs asleep, guys. And I, that movie, The Exorcist, came on. I was so scared. I couldn't, I had to use the bathroom. I was... <laughs> I was so scared watching that movie by myself because I know one time it had came on before and my mom, she made me go in the other room. I couldn't watch it, but I could hear it, hear it, hear it, hear it because um, we had company over. So I could hear the people that was in there with her watching. I could hear them talking about it. And so when I was at my dad's house, everybody was upstairs sleeping. It came on TV, so I watched it. I had to use the bathroom. I couldn't get it. I was so scared to get them when you turn the TV on. I, can't I, I honestly feel like that since I watched so many scary movies, I've seen The Exorcist, it wasn't even that scary. Like, if you watch it now, it's it, not it's, really it's, scary. It's, like, even when she turns her head on, you can tell it's fake. But that's because, like, technology and, like, special effects is so, like, yeah. advanced that you can tell it's fake. Yeah, that's true. But the thing about it, too, that movie. Y'all never she looked, seen, I've never seen no um, makeup done as good as that movie. Yeah. Ain't nobody did no makeup yet that was as good as... I don't care what movie that has came out yet. No movie has been as good as The Exorcist as far as the makeup part. And that part when she came down the steps backwards, yeah. when she came back, that her mom a good one, because ain't no way. I probably would have... Open the door, she can walk right out. No, I probably would have just left. I probably would have just left. That's what I would have did. Because she come down there, when she came down the steps... Can you imagine you at home and you see you look up and your child coming down the steps like that? Huh? Let me tell you something. It was some good movies back in the day. I feel like The Fly, that was a good movie. Did you have you ever seen The Fly? Yeah, girl. And then like the yeah, one the movie was, that was actually that, that had scared us was Annabelle. I remember when we saw Annabelle in theaters? Mm-hmm. And it went, and it was we was in theaters hiding. It's a little kid had ran across. Because the thing about it, when we went to go see Annabelle, guys, we were sitting on the front row, like way in the front, because it was packed in there, so there was only seats. So we had to get the front row with a screen, be like right here. Well, so it wasn't. Like it wasn't that. the first row. It was probably like the third or something like that. But some kid had like ran past. Oh yeah, but that Annabelle, it was past. Annabelle was demonic, but that but it had the devil in it, didn't it? Annabelle, that was. Mm-hmm. You ever seen the original Pet Cemetery? That movie made me cry. When Gage, Gage, what's his name, Gage, when the little baby ran out in the street, that little part was messed up in the movie. It's like, why y'all had to have that to happen with the little boy? A cute little boy, the I remember him from um, kindergarten class. But they had him run out of the daddy. She talking about, get the baby. You run too. Everybody, the old man, all of us finna run and go get this baby. Right. And I'm you really won't pay attention to your son if you think about that movie. Like, they was, he had, his little bit of feet was, he had ran, ran. It's like, he's going to he up there, eat, look at the second, don't let him go in the room. Get that baby, baby. 
And you Hello, trying. Dark Side Gaming. I subscribe. Thank, Thank you, you, Dark Side Gaming. I appreciate it. Yes, yeah, subscribe and start watching. <laughs> we appreciate it. Tell us some good movies, Dark Side Hello. Gaming. Tell us some good movies that we can watch. That's what we up. But we just talking about. Um, I was telling everybody if you are just joining in on this live. Um, my name is Dion. If you are not subscribed to my channel, Dion's like hit that subscribe button. Um, and like and comment, but yeah, um, what's I a was, movie you've seen recently? Yeah, we was talking about a movie we watched earlier today called Low Life L O W L I F E S. We was talking about that movie. Check that out, guys, if you like horror, thriller, stuff like that. Um, what, what was the other one we said? Bell, Bell Crow Experiment, that one was good. We just talked about Sleepaway Camp, yeah, we talked about Sleepaway Camp, a movie that came in '83. Oh, Scream, yeah, Scream. Yeah, I think we just saw one not too long ago, like the newest one, no, it wasn't, or the one before the newest one, when they was at the gas station, and it, and he was laying down. Oh, so yeah, 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 when they was in a gas station. Yeah, I think that was the newest one. Yeah, that was we the We skipped, one. that was like Scream 4 or yeah, whatever. Yeah, because it's been so many, it's yeah. been so many. But that movie was spooky, that's a spooky movie too. But check out Sleepaway Camp, that movie came out in 83. I was talking about check out the ending. But Scream was, that was like genius in a way. With the phone call. Very good. Remember when you said that part? She talking about my boyfriend is playing football. He is such a She all in the, girl, you got all this stuff to have. Canned food, and she, hot pants, <laughs> and she food, was food. And the sad part was that she was right there by her pants, but she didn't haul and he unalived and put on the tree, didn't he? That was messed up. Yeah, she. I would have hollered. Cause he had he had um messed her cook. Oh he yeah, had that part or whatever to her. Dang. And the she parents didn't have no instinct so like something was wrong. Not at the time, girl. They coming home. They chilling, relaxing, and then when they get in there, and the mom was like, "Not my daughter, honey." She. I wouldn't. I don't know why she answered the phone the second time. I don't answer the phone at all. Now I'm just I, like now, like when somebody calls, and I don't know. Yeah, I don't have a cell phone either. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta leave a voice. I don't even need to check the voice mode, so I don't even know. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, Scream, Scream was a classic. That was a classic. And it was the friends. Remember when they was at the party at the evening? Because it was Dewey, not Dewey. Dewey was the uh, sheriff. What was their name? The, it was her boyfriend and the other dude. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Yeah, he was the boyfriend. <laughs> I and thought the that that was. What is um the um what's the forty of it? Hmm. The forty one. What is it? The what? The forty one. The joke. The one that that mocks it. Who you talking about? Um, you talking about Marlon Wayans? Oh, you know my You talking about Marlon Wayans and them? I think so. I don't know. Or maybe that is a I haven't watched you haven't seen Scream. Yeah, Scream 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 oh, was a good man. one. That was a good one. Scream was good. Um Michael um Stranger Oh Things. yeah, I liked uh, that. I watched um three all three of the seasons and you watched all of them too. Yeah, I watched some of it too. Stranger I was trying Things. to figure some of that out, Stranger Things. I yeah. cried on the last episode. But I've seen, <laughs> I've seen it all, and yeah, the last one was sad. The last, ep like this. Episode. But you know what? I told her when we was watching Stranger Things that that guy that was in that school. Wait, well, have they seen it? Have they? Have you seen season yeah. one, two, and three? Well, I guess it's just like maybe we didn't see. We don't watch. Stranger I don't know if that's what's going on. Oh no! Oh, 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 um. But I, 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 I told her it was. I knew that thing that was up with all that stuff coming out. I told she her she knew who the person was. Yeah, I knew who it was. I figured it out. Yeah, you they watched it. it. Yeah, yeah. I knew it was that. I knew it was the one that was at the school. That's the guy from um, Twilight, ain't it? Yeah, one of the Votoris. Ain't that how you say it? <laughs> Vultures, Vultures. Um, no, but yeah, that, yeah. Those I knew I was like I, I kept he said act though he, he played, played his part I kept well. telling her I was like that's that person that's hanging up with the stuff coming out that's the one that that was in that school with the girl it's either Stranger Things 4 or 5 that's um let me change it that should be so it's um, over with now yeah they're supposed to be filming um it's been over since like 2020 something or 20 so it's not coming back home 
No, I mean, but see, why they gotta space it out like that? Doing it, it was a writer strike or something like that. Oh. Or, man, whatever. Yeah, Just go on and put the movie out. They had to film it. Or did it come out twenty? I don't know what it was filmed with an iPhone. Just filming it. It was filmed twenty two, twenty two, something like that. Yeah, Stranger Things. Okay. Stranger Things. I was actually. I like the second and third season better than the first because the first season was kind of it was kind of slow. The first season was kind of slow, in my opinion. Oh, okay. So you like series, um, series type shows, movies, and things. Um, um, I. These might be what you're looking for. See how to. By the way, if you have another request, see how to. The phones be listening to right hard. You gotta watch this stuff, y'all. Let me tell y'all something. (laughs) We've seen, do you watch, um, have you ever heard of Shane Dawson? Y'all show, I know he has some controversial things, but if you watch his latest conspiracy theory video, then you'll, you'll, it'll make you think about stuff. A whole lot of stuff. Yeah. You talking about the Stanley Cup? They cup, the air, they have the cup that everybody be buying. That's like $45. Yeah, and yeah. was saying how, um, the person that. Yeah. Oh, they watched. Was, you heard of Shane Dawson? Okay. Was over, um. What was it? Over the crops that help the crops get, you know, expand or whatever. Megan. Megan. We saw Megan. It was all right with the dog. Let me tell you something about Megan. Uh, I thought it was was all right. And then acting, um, dark side gaming. Let me see. I I, I, I think. I think it's like a character as there. Um, so Dark Side Gamer, let me ask you this. The movie Megan, was that a person playing the doll or was that a real doll? I was trying to figure that part out because it, it looked was like a person it. that was playing the doll. Oh, okay. And then some parts is probably like CG. She, let me, Megan dressed better than I do. <laughs> like that doll had on nice coats, dresses, half fly. Like she was well put together. I didn't think it was all that. It was, it was, it was. It's it's like it could have been a little different. It just seemed like it could have been a little different because that dog was like a little little little. Too it realistic. reminded me of what's the um I can't I'm trying to think of another movie that we saw that was all right. Mm-hmm. And it be like that when you when kids and then when you trying to tell them something, the folk don't want to listen. Um, yeah, Megan, she was a trip. What what else did we see that was kind of similar that was similar to like Megan? Hi, Chevy Speed. How okay. you doing? I'm trying. Thank you for joining in yeah. on the live. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button, please. <laughs> also, like, share. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, but yeah, the um, dark game or that other person. Yeah, mm-hmm. we saw Megan. What was another horror movie that we saw that was like, that wasn't all that? What was the Salt, not Salt Burn? What was that movie oh, that yeah. you Have y'all seen Salt Burn? That was interesting um no what's that movie you got off tiktok that you watched and we saw when them people remember they had don't worry darling no not that i ain't like that one not what's the one with the girl and them people had took her skin off or something You talking about that Marty's movie? Yeah, some stuff I know she was trying to do. So yeah. I don't know if you've heard of something called Marty's. It was like these. I don't know what. Come over this way. I don't know. I don't know what was happening. I mean, it was kind of confusing. It was like these two girls had went to a house and they and fought they each get, other. And they were getting tortured. And over then yeah, there. and then like one of the girls that was had got kidnapped or something like that. Or they no, they was coming. They was coming to the house of revenge. I think. And they had unalived the family, right? Yeah. And, and then, like, two of the girls or one of the girls had died away or, or was tried to get away, but then she got captured and she was tort. Yeah. Yeah, that movie. That was, was weird. It, it, some of the movies that she get off TikTok, I'd be like, I it, I can't take it. What's the one when we watched them people, they was the green something? It's called Green Inferno. I don't know if y'all have seen that, but that was, that was kind of That was certain. disturbing. Kind of that was, wasn't kind of, it was real disturbing. I don't know who be coming up with this type of stuff. Where are they coming from? <laughs> it's, it's worse. It's crazy. It's worse movies like I, I really want to see some movies where they find a cure for sicknesses and diseases and things of that nature. <laughs> that 
that's what we need to people need to make moves about. Like really put your thought into taking all this stuff that hurt people away. Five nights at Fred. Oh yeah, oh, we yeah, saw yeah, that. We saw that. Did that was, you like Five Nights at Fred? We saw that on um HBO Max or or um no won't. It was on not HBO Max, it was on um I don't know, Stars or something. Star, it, yeah, it was on something. Did you like Five Nights at Freddy's? I liked, it was, I didn't like how they made the things friendly. How like the, the little animatronics or whatever, ghosts or whatever, they were, were, were friendly I guess we was girl. thinking it was going to have something to do with Freddy Krueger. That's what I was thinking that it was going to have something to do with that's Freddy like, It's like a horror video game is what it's based off of or something like that. Oh, um, so that's like an apocalypse Um video game with the um, oh. zombies the girl oh, that, I like those that be on the um the hive and she be shooting those zombie looking people I like those type I like zombie Resident type Resident Evil yeah cause what was the one we saw it all ends we all end the one with those people um I think it's like Asian people or something do you like Marvel um like the action or the Marvel action. is like uh it's like Batman and jo I like the Joker have you seen Joe? That's no, that's DC. What's the difference between Marvel? We don't know about that. What do we, DC mean? Disney? I mean, no, um, DC is like some type of. Mar I don't know. Look it up. DC is like, but yeah. Um, what do DC mean? DC. The Avengers is like basically the Marvel movies. Oh, Black Panther. Stop the strange Iron Man. Thor. So, um, Marvels is like, um, yeah, I like the, oh, oh, there's DC, okay, yeah, I like, um, what was the one I said I liked? I want to see the Spider-Man, like, the newer Spider-Man movies, because I heard those were good, I haven't seen them. What Marvels have I seen? Um, pull up Marvel movies, I can tell, I can tell you what Marvel movies Have you seen I Avengers? Seen. We've seen Fantastic Yeah, we've seen Four. The Avengers, the Deadpool. Fantastic Four. I haven't seen Deadpool. I haven't seen Ant Man. Was that good? Did you What's the that? one? Um, Poison Man. What's the Venom. one? I've seen the first Venom. I haven't seen. I've the second seen one. part of or no, I don't remember. And what's the one with um? What's the dude that won the Oscar for in um Dallas um Bias Club? What's his name? Um, Juke. Not um. Have you seen the Flash? What's the guy that was the Wolf person? We saw S. S the Iron Man Hulk. Black Widow. Okay. Um, I've seen the Hulk. I've seen We've the Iron seen, Man. Yeah, we don't. We don't really watch like she yeah. said. We don't really watch. I am. I like the Black like Adam. It, why? I don't know. I've never seen that one. Hello, Kyle. Hey, Kyle. Hey. How you doing? Hey. Don't say something stuff because it might be. I don't know. They just. I mean, I don't know what that mean. Um, what's the one with the um? Have you seen the Wonder Woman? We don't watch action. We don't watch um uh what's, the, what's his name or sorry her um gaming. We don't watch um action movies like um, that. What's that um movie with um Jared Leto? What's the the Wolf Man? Yeah, he, I saw that one. one. I saw that one. Um, I think that's like a Marvel one. We've seen S Squad. We can't say certain words. Okay, I saw it was so easy. It's called um, Morbius. I saw Morbius. Yeah, I'll do that. Thank you, um, a beauty freak. I appreciate it. I'm hello, glad you, new um, subscriber. Yes, thank, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, I saw that one. I saw the Joker with um, Joaquin Phoenix. That that movie, perfect. We like his that movie. movie was good. Yeah, he did very well in that movie. I like that movie. Um, guys, if you're just joining in, I was talking about um a Tubi movie we watched earlier today called Low Lights. L O W L I F E S. Guys, I just <laughs> that movie was a trip. That movie was a trip. Um, it's a, like a gore horror type thriller movie. If you haven't watched that, check that out. We talk about the Bell Crows Cameron. And then I was telling them about this movie I watched back in 1983. That's when it came out. I was six years old called Sleepaway Camp. That movie's disturbing. Yes, Tubi does have some good ones. I watched um, one the other day called The Temp. Okay, bye, um, Dark Side Game. Thank you for joining. Yeah, thank you for joining. 
DOD speaker. Have I'm not talking loud night. enough. I'm oh, sorry. I apologize. We're still telling them bye. Have a good night and we'll watch screen. Thank you for thank you for chatting. Yeah, with thank us. you for chatting with us. I appreciate it. Screen. Yeah, DOD acts nicely. It's okay. <laughs> Just lying. Yes, we are playing. speaking up. Um, let me see. Oh, um, who was the lady? Uh, a beauty freak. I watched. Um, Ooh. Thank you, Dark Side Gaming. I watched um, The Temp the other day. That movie had a little twist to it. Thank you. Thank you. Have, have a good, good day, day too, as well. It's really nice. Time. I um, I watched. Um, I saw The Temp. That's a new movie that's on Tubi. I watched the movie Snatched. Oh, you can't hear. Sorry, you can't hear. I try to speak a little no, bit we'll louder. No, we just mess it's okay. Yeah. But, just, um, sorry, we're not speaking we're, loud enough. Mother and daughter. daughter. Yeah. <laughs> I watched. You no, know, he just, I guess he's calling us sister. Yeah. Do you recognize that? I don't know. I can't really say I got my bifocals on. Um, What other um Tubi movies? I've, I've seen a lot of Tubi movies. I watched the movie Snatch the other day. That one was... um. That one was pretty good. I kind of like a um, revenge type movie. I just wish it was more revenge in the movie towards the man that did all the stuff he did to that lady's family. Um, just like that movie. Have you guys um, seen Your Next? Yeah, I love that movie. Because that's a real good revenge movie. Is that the name of the blonde lady? Mm -mm. That's the one with the girl. She went with her new boyfriend and meet his family up in their cabin. And they was in the house. Oh, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. got to watch that where she has, like, um, she wouldn't camp her. She had, like, she knew, like. Her daddy like, had sent her to, like, a one of those camps where you can learn how to defend yourself and yeah. survive out and, you know, just survive out in the world type thing. And she was off the chain. And the guy that she was with, he didn't even know that she had that type of training and everything. So that movie was really good. Um, it was one series that I did watch on Tubi called The Dirty D. I'd be glad when the new season come back on. One thing what about movie certain movies, about? I don't like when the movies, like shows and stuff come on. They take forever for the new season to come back on. The last one I watched was so good. I think it's called, if I can't, you know what? I was thinking about talking, um, thinking about talking about that movie. If I can't have you, or if I can't. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Did you ever watch that? Or I watched it. saw it. Yeah. I've, I've saw, I watched it. I was trying to get her to watch it, but like the first part of it, she couldn't take it. She didn't want to watch no more. That's oh, the you saw like the one where the husband got unalived, where he got, yeah. He got, it, it ain't fun when you tell your story, but he got messed up in the car. Yes. That, oh yeah. no, the first Yeah, five, that movie was crazy. The first like 10, 15 minutes, it was a, a explicit scene. I don't want to see that. <laughs> she didn't, she didn't, she didn't so like I, I, but I did see like. No, I saw it, and then she got married to another guy. And he was abusive. He was abusive. I seen that. Yeah, yeah never mind. Yeah. I just, I she just fast forwarded that part of me, but yeah, I yeah. saw it. I was thinking about doing a review on that movie. That movie was, but you know what? The sad part about that movie is so real life. It's so relatable, but not to me. But I'm just saying, in general, it's very relatable because it's like, and that's the guy. Yeah, y'all. That's the guy. That in, from <laughs> that's the guy in the um. To me, I think he favors favors Cat Williams. He has the long hair, pretty hair, whatever. But that movie was so crazy, and it was y'all. You know what the thing about it? It's a movie. However, it was one of those things, you'd be like, girl, why? Like, the stuff that she was doing. This man was, like, doing mean stuff to her. Like, putting his hands on her. And the part that really got me was when they had the cookout. And when they had that cookout, and I think she had fixed somebody's plate or something. And then how he, like, yanked on her. And he did that in front of other men. And they sat down and allowed it. I mean, I know you at somebody else's house. You got to respect their house. But I'm like, y'all going to just sit there and let this man abuse this woman. And, well, put his hands on this woman. You're not going to do anything. You're not going to say anything. That says a lot about you. Yes. I, I Look, I'm with you. Because when I watched that movie, it had me in my feelings, too. It really did. That same movie we talk about, If I Can't Have You. It had me in my feelings. And then the part, 
I don't mean to talk bad and negative, but this girl, she actually had a baby by him. It was so many times, I'm like, when he left the yard of town, why you didn't just leave? Why didn't you just leave? I just didn't get it. And then the other girl was kind of mad, like his ex-girlfriend, she was mad that he was with her, I guess, because he liked to buy you stuff. And how he acted toward her when her cousin came around. Remember when the cousin came around? And I'm sitting up here like, girl, what, what, what got me about the movie was why her little boy looked like the man. He had pretty hair like the man, long skin complexion. He looked like the man. That's the part that got can me I, too. Can I this yeah, go ahead. That's what got me too. I didn't understand that part. But then, okay, she got the money. I guess it was from the insurance policy or whatever from, from her husband. She got that. And she gonna go out of town and then have a going away party. Why would you have a going away party? Why didn't you just stay out of town? Why did people even have to know you was having a going away party, girl? The friends knew he was abusive and they still wanted him. Yes, toxic. Very, very toxic. Extremely toxic. Extremely toxic. I, I, I don't understand stuff like that. It is not for me to understand. You know what I mean? But it's one of them things, y'all. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm sorry, but she was scared of him. And I'm like, girl, honey, baby, there were so many things that she could have done to him. I ain't going to even say it. I'm, I'm not going to even say it, but I'm just saying. She, when she left out of town, she came back and had the going away party. Then when she had the going away party, he came to the party. And the mama outside talking to him, come on, no, you can't bring a, a, you know, the weapon in the house. You got to put that back in the car. And what he did to the baby, the girl, the girl that's supposed to be her cousin who was messing with him, I mean, all of them won't hit no nothing. All that stuff that he did, and then he did that to himself in front of her mama. I was I was too through with that movie. But, that, but you read about stuff like that all the time, people doing stuff like that. And it's sad. It really is sad. It's, it's, it's extremely sad. Because like I was saying, I had did a live yesterday. I was saying it's sad when people go out here and hurt people and do things of that nature. And it's like they never think about the other person. Like, they never think about that could be them. Like, no, that can happen to any of us. That can happen to anybody. And it's like if you go out here, like with that movie, you with this girl, and you putting your hands on her and being mean to her and things of that nature. That can happen to somebody you love. That can happen to, like, if you got a daughter, that can happen to your sister. That can happen to your mother. You know what I'm saying? Or vice versa. If it's a woman that's putting her hands on a man, that can happen to your son, your father, your brother. Like, would you want that to happen to the people that you love and you care about? So why would you do stuff like that? And that movie, I just, it, it, it's, it's billions of people out here in the world. So why is it that when you get with this one person, y'all break up, you can't let them go or whatever the case may be. And now you want to do what you did, do what he did. And he was, like, so mean to that lady. Like, what was the time? You remember that part in the movie? Um, so crazy. The mom acted like she she did act like she wanted her daughter to forgive him. At first, she wanted her daughter to leave him. But then she wanted her daughter to forgive him. And that was sad. I, I, I didn't understand the mother. Because I'm a mother. This is my daughter right here. I couldn't imagine knowing something, like, I, I, don't, I don't see how people can, as a parent, or just as a person in general, how you know, your, if you got a son, it don't matter. They're in a relationship with, a relationship with somebody that's talking to them ugly, hurting their feelings, making them feel bad. I don't understand that. And you know it and you okay with it. I ain't built like that. <laughs> I ain't built that way. So what? Other I'm not built that way. They be like, they yeah, I'm not built that way. I had to let the, the, the boy, mama, everybody, everybody know. I, I'm, I'm not built like that. I can't. It just, mm-mm, mm-mm. Nah, that just don't do right for me. Just don't do, it does not do well at all. That don't go well with me. And the girl, I was sitting up here like, she coming up right there in the house. And she had a going away party. Why would you have a going away party knowing this man, the type of dude that he was? And then the thing to get me too was like, he'll do stuff to her and then he'll give her gifts. That movie was crazy. It was sad, it was shocking, and it was disturbing. Yeah, and it's like, it's 
are the gifts supposed to make up for what he did? Like, I don't get the point of that. Like, it's like, it's like a sorry. But it's like, you're, that's not going to make up for it. Like, if you have issues where, like, you have mental illness and you need to get help. Yeah, because go you're get physical. Help. Go get help. It'd be a difference if you're trying to go get help. But if you just keep on doing the same thing, knowing that you're doing wrong, then, you know, then that's just on you. Hey. Hey, Justin, how you doing? Hey, okay, we're just talking about... All the way from across the world. Just talk about different movies I watch. We watch Tubi movies and just movies on, you know, just talk about different movies. Um, What's her name? A Beauty Freak. Have you ever seen Plug Love? That was a good movie. Plug Love. I like that movie. That was very... It was, I, you know, well, that movie was kind of sad at the end. But I'm glad the brother did. He what happened the end at too. the end? Didn't get yeah, guy. but his brother got that dude. I was so glad he got it. And the polo girl went to jail. She went to prison. And it's so crazy. You know what I noticed too about a lot of the movies that's on Tubi, or just in general, the storylines is one of those things where you know how girls be having a man and say like he might got a little money and he get them gifts and the other girls like if they had the hair salon or something, they be like. Girl, you 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 know how many women would love to be in your shoes, girl, and you got it going now. Your man buy you this and this and that. Those type of women, they messing with your man. Cause why? Well, I'm not finna sit up here playing too. Hey, Justin, I'm not finna sit up here and tell nobody what my man buy me anyway. They ain't nobody business. That's people, one thing. That's why you don't brag. Cause I learned a long time ago. And yes, I was in high school, and I learned a long time ago. You don't trust your women, your friend, your girl, your homegirls around your man. Period. I learned that in high school. I mean, my whole thing is like whoever you're dating, you should be able to have them around. Whoever you can have them around, but when the girls yeah. talk like that, you can't do it. Yeah, you're just waiting for their turn. Yeah. But my whole thing is like you can't just. Keep them away. If a the person don't cheat on you, they're going to cheat on you yeah, regardless. They don't cheat. I'm not saying keep them away, but I ain't going to be telling them the stuff that he doing. Because all you're doing is... Look, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> let me tell y'all something. Like on Instagram and stuff Why like that. You doing your when shirt like that? I just am. Like when you're on Instagram and it's people who bragging about they man. and they Y'all ain't doing it but making other people want them. That's all you're doing. Put all, I'm going to put my boo on display. They ain't doing nothing but making another one and wrong. Then, or another are, man wants your one. They That's wish, it, all they they wish doing. it bad on y'all's relationship, That's all they're doing. too. And it's amazing to me how you can see couples out and about and they got these bodies and the women showing showing their bottoms. That's for your man. That ain't for the world to see. When you put that out on the internet, I guess you're trying to prove that you in shape and you work out, but that's not key. That's to be that's private. That's personal. Just like I want. Like, why would you want your man on the internet with no shirt on? That's private. It ain't for the world to see. Just popping to say hello. I'm going to find one of those movies you mentioned. Have a good night. Have a good night, Absolute Freak. Yes, a beauty freak, please. Yes, make sure you check out those movies. Check out Sleepaway Camp. <laughs> but check out those movies. Yeah, check out All some right, of those hello. movies. It was nice meeting you. Thank you so you. much for joining in and um, chatting with us. I appreciate it. You take care. You have a good night. Um, let me see what's another movie that we watched that we thought was good, Mir. Let me see. What's another good movie? What her what's um I, I watched the if y'all haven't seen The Godfather, that's like one of my favorite movies. I watched that over and over and I don't know how many times I've seen The Godfather. I'm tired of it. She tired of it. I love it. I love The Godfather. Because that movie teaches me you never go against the family. That's my movie right there. You never take sides against the family. Period. Lesson learned a long time ago. Never take sides against the family. That's a good movie. I'm trying to think of what else we've seen. What else I've seen that was on Tubi. Well, that movie we watched today. It was something else. What else have we seen? I think that's all I got for y'all for the night. So I think we get ready to wrap this up. We've been on here over an hour now. Um, what's you know, what's one one movie that we had started watching on Netflix was Anna or Anne or it was like kind of like an action movie. It was like number one on um, Netflix. She was oh like, yeah, attention to it, but that looked like it was starting to get good. Oh and, yeah, uh, yeah. And then Dune, we had started watching. I know you say like get off of the window. What Dune? Dune too. We had started watching. We had started sorry watching Dune. 
the two. first the, the first no with the first dune yeah the first dune and but we didn't really understand what was happening so we just kind of tuned out yeah and, but we're not the night but it's too late for another time we're gonna have to watch dune and do a review because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. a lot of people said they liked it another movie that i really like that's one of my favorites that i've watched i don't even know how many times i've watched i can't even count it's called the fighter and that movie has Christian Bale and Mark Wahlberg, and it's based on a true story. It's about this boxer, um, Dick Eklund. Um, what, no, no, Dick Eklund was the daddy. They call him Dicky. Um, and he's known in Lowell. He's known for, um, he's known in Lowell. He's known for um, knocking Sugar Ray Leonard down. But actually, he's had slipped. And it's a good movie. It's basically, you know, he's on... Um, pharmaceutical medications that's not prescribed by the doctor and um his brother is a boxer and he's training his brother and he's he wants to do a, com- a comeback and hbo is doing a documentary about him and mark Wahlberg pray- plays his brother and um he has they have a bunch of sisters and um that movie is really really good guys and um christian bale and the lady that played the mom um what was the mama name? I done seen this movie so many times. Alice, that's the mama name. Same my mama. They um won an Oscar for that movie. That movie is really, really good because he gets this girlfriend and she basically wants him to stop, you know, doing stuff with the with the brother because the brother, he, even though he's trained he's him and taught him everything, he um he's an addict. So he comes late to practices. It's he it's just a big old mess. And the mom is like the manager. And so it's one of those things where he has to do this fight with this guy. And when they get there, come to find out that the guy that he's supposed to fight, Sal Manny, I think it's Sal Mandy, he's sick with the flu, so he can't fight him. He has to fight somebody else, and he gets beat up. And anyway, to make a long story short, his brother ends up going to Greg. Oh, like and so he starts training with somebody else, and then he's working his – he's winning. And as he's winning, he's – um training for this fight with this guy and he goes to his brother in prison and he tells him like I can tell you how to beat this man and he tells him and he ends up beating him and then his brother get out and it's just good it's just one of those things where the family they are close knit family but he got this new girlfriend and she wants him to get rid of him. that's one thing too whenever you're in a relationship with somebody and you and your family close and you get with them and they don't want you to be with your family, you, they're not good for you. Because we're going to work this out. How are you going to take me away from my family and family? Right. Yeah, I know my family. I, 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 me of all people know my family got issues. You know your family. You know when they're going through stuff. You know the people in your family got issues, but you don't know them. You barely know me. We still getting to know each other. So how are you going to tell me I need to let them? You can offer suggestions, but telling me to just get <laughs> rid of them, I'm just not going to do that. You no, know what I'm saying? suggest to someone... That you saw. I'm just gonna make And it. I just didn't like the girlfriend <laughs> for that part. Yeah, the girlfriend had an attitude. She problem. did. And what he tell her at the end? Um, her name was Charlene. What he tell her at the end? What happened at the end? She talked talk about um you didn't knock Sugar Ray Leonard out. You he said, Don't you think I know I was in the room? He said, Well, what have you ever done with your life? What have you ever done with your life? She's my life. He said, You just a little bar girl, you're college dropout. You're not the life sucks. When he told her that, she humbled herself really, really quickly because it was the truth. She was talking right. junk about him, trying to act like he won't know, you know, this and this and that. The brother? Yeah. Yeah. And he went to her house and he was telling her, like, because he was like, he wants to work with his brother. And so he went out there and she cussing and fussing and fussing. And he said, what have you ever done with your life? You're a college dropout. You're just a bar girl. Your life sucks. Like, you ain't no better than me. He was eight months sober, taking it one day at a time. So that's a really, really good movie, The Fighter. And the reason why I like The Fighter, because it's a good storyline, it's great acting, and it's relatable. And I can watch the movie over and over again, and I have watched it over and over and over again. Um, watch Bring It Down the House. I think that movie was made in like 2006 yeah. or like 2000. That that's an like old, it's funny. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's funny they can see you. That movie, is, I'm, I'm, we getting off after I talk about Bring It Down the House. Bring It Down the House is funny, but they got some funny parts. It's like the more, you know how you can watch a movie and you saw it years ago, but then when you go back and watch it again, you just pick up on different stuff. That movie was so funny because <laughs> Betty White was funny in that movie because when, when um, his name was Mr. Sanderson, when he came home, 
She said, Mrs. Santa said, who was that Latin family that was checking out the house down the street? And she was like, oh, they was looking at it. She talking about the case. And he said, no, she talking about they're in this neighborhood or not. That movie had so many little stuff that they were saying that they was like putting it, talking, you know, about race. You, you'd be like, wait a minute, they was talking like that. <laughs> but it was a good movie. I really, really liked that movie, Bring It Down the House. I can watch that over and over again. That's a good movie with Queen Latifah and um, Steve He'd Martin. He'd still be acting. He's um in this show. I can't think of, it, think of the name of it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he's still acting. I like him. I like him. I like I like that movie. I like she Chevy. Is it Chevy Chase or Chevy Chase? I love the National Lampoon movies. Those are like my favorite. My favorite one is the um, original and the Vegas one. I love that one. That's a good one. They got a new one out called Vacation. And that's is supposed it the to be about people? no. It's supposed to be about Rusty and his family, him and his wife, and their two sons going on a trip, and they be going through all kind of stuff. And they got a guy that the um that the sister Arjun is married to or go with. He kind of like the Eddie guy, the one that had all the kids or whatever, like his mannerisms and the way he acted is like that. So yeah, guys, we can ready to get off this live. I enjoyed talking to you guys. I just wanted to bring. You know, just come on and just talk to you guys about some movies that we watched and we've seen, and especially about the one we saw today. Because, guys, you got to watch your low life because what happened, Miracle? <laughs> what did Daddy do? He did something. Right. It's something that the Daddy did in that movie, y'all. Right. If you mm -hmm. watch the movie, it was comment kind of below and let me know. And if you watch it after yeah, the live, gotta watch please it. comment and let me know. Because when I tell y'all something that Daddy did, we was up in here like mouth open. We, we was laughing because it was just too funny. Because we couldn't believe he did crazy. what he did. And like he I said, that off the movie chain. Got a, he, the daddy was off the chain for real. The, the whole family was off, off the chain. Kevin the brother. Kevin the brother. The son was. Because when he saw Big Mac, <laughs> the way he was looking. You know who the son kind of put me in the mind of? The son kind of put me in the mind of the guy that played in Freak Show. American Horror Freak Show. Remember the one that was going with the um two headed lady? Oh yeah, they kind of he put he he he, yeah. he he got that the way he looked and the hair and stuff and how he was acting and stuff. He acts like him. If you guys ever seen American Horror Freak Show? Okay, guys, we get ready to end this live. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for everyone that joined in the, in the chat. Um, thank you, Alice. Thank you, Dark Side Gaming. Thank you, Chevy Speed. Thank you, Cal Kente. Thank you, absolute. I mean, a beauty freak. Why you Thank you, D.O.D. Thank you, Justin, Grandma. Grandma. Justin. Thank you, guys, everybody, for tuning Thank in you and, for coming. and commenting. And I really appreciate each and every one of you. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, then y'all like, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can receive alerts for each and every time I upload and become a chat partner. I wish you all out there peace of mind because what? A peace of mind is one of the greatest things in the world. Always remember that you guys are great. And as always. Long after. <laughs> and as always, what? Take care, stay safe, and be blessed. Yes, as always. Take care, stay safe, and be blessed. Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs> now, see, there we go. I ain't know what that was. Yeah, they sound like they ain't here. But they not. Yeah. Well, how you end it?